Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, me be Madame Sabi Cook. Today's video, I want to show you how to make a bakaliki achi soup. I added stockfish into the pot. After adding the stockfish, I added my goat meat. I'll be using goat meat, seasoned with two seasoning cubes. Then I'll add salt to it and cover. Okay cover and allow it to cook very well until the meat the good meat is tender so right about now let's check our meat and see how it's doing it is doing pretty well so I'm going to throw in the dry fish I'll be using two I already washed it okay but I don't want it to scatter that's why I left it like that so I throw it in I'm going to cover and allow it to cook a little more before we proceed into the next stage of this cooking which is the most important stage of this cooking so we are done cooking the meat you set it aside now in another pan i will be adding madame sabi cook palm oil that's what i'll be using yes i told you that i produce palm oil okay that's my palm oil i added it into the pot then the next thing is to transfer the ashi don't bleach your oil oh. don't bleach it at all Immediately you add your palm oil, add the ashi and start stirring. You stir until you are no longer seeing any lumps in the ashi, that's in the oil. Okay, then you start adding water bit by bit, just like as I'm doing in the video. You start adding water bit by bit, just like that. You add it and keep stirring. You are not going to be far from this soup at this point, okay, so that it doesn't get burnt and it doesn't overflow the pots, okay. Because if you leave it, it's going to overflow, it's going to get burnt. And when it gets burnt, it is going to ruin the taste of the soup, okay? So you add more water in case you need it, okay? You add more water if you think it is too thick. Because actually soup is not always good to be thick. To me, oh, I don't know for you, but for me, I don't like it too thick. So I added my coarsely blended pepper and crayfish. I blended it together into it. I also stir it together. Then I add some seasoning cubes then i'll add some salt and cover a little to enable the seasoning cube go into the archi as you can see look at how it is looking so beautiful already okay so right now it's time for me to transfer my tattoos yes the stock water and of course the all the meats all the tattoos that i'll be using for this soup I added all of them at this point so after adding it I'm going to stir everything together to enable everything marry each other then I'll cover and cook for 10 minutes you're going to cook this very well so that the ashi is not going to be undone because when you don't cook it very well you would not like the taste now this is the leaf I will be using this is angara leaves this is what I will be using okay and I'm not going to slice it with knife I'm just going to cut it like that you will see how it will look that is why i am suggesting you don't skip any part of this video so that because if you skip you're definitely going to miss out on some of the things i'm going to show you right now look at how the soup is looking so beautiful and lush i am salivating i know you all salivated already everything is so on point now i'm done with the angara leaves i have added it into the pot of goodness i call this pot of goodness this is a bakaliki way of making Ashi soup and now when anytime you have a visitor or you go to any abakaliki person house this is the type of ashi the type of soup that they will give you okay i'm still going to make another video on another one that you're going to add some egusi molded egusi into it that one eh that one graduated the best graduate student from harvard university like play like play our soup done day ready our soup done day ready so it's time for me to dish and serve. Look at that goodness, guys. Look at that goodness. Is this not looking beautiful? Hmm? Is this not looking beautiful? Now, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. Do that, subscribe, and share to your friends. Tell your friend that this is a bakaliki way of making ashi soup. And it is, wow, so beautiful. And the taste, guys, the taste is... Hmm, 
the test is something else i want you to go and try this soup out go and try it out and you'll come back and thank me later let me know what you think about this soup in the comments section now my abakaliki friends is this how you make your own let me also know now let me also know the country that you're watching this video from okay so is this video helpful do you know where you can get your angara leaves let me know in the comments section like play like play we don't finish we don't finish until i come your way again me kuna the cook me kuna the chocolate now me me madam sabi cook see you guys in my next video bye